We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Honda Sinus, this nice 2023 Type R, high performance Civic. We did a complete video on this with a one week test drive. It's a separate video on YouTube. Here we're just going to do the headlight test and night drive. If you want to see the full road test, we'll have a link for that later. Let's take a look at these bulbs. Someone sent me an email said they're not called bulbs, they're called filaments. Okay, well, whatever. Hard to tell how many. One, two, three. Looks like there's seven in there. Eh. What difference does it make? Either works or it doesn't. We'll find out soon enough. So it's dark enough. Let's stick these lights out and see what they do. And here's what the taillights look like. Not too big, not too small, bright enough. License plate light, very strong. And here we have the emergency lights. Also on the mirrors. Seem bright enough. But turn the headlights off and definitely far brighter and easier to see. The rears are small but bright enough. And here's what the camera system looks like. A little bit on the grainy side, but we had a rain not too long ago, so it might be slightly obstructed. The gauge cluster lights up pretty good. By the way, if you put it in the plus R mode, that means you're going quicker. The gauge cluster changes. There you go. That's more aggressive looking. Plus changing to other modes. And here we have the headlights on a wall 33 yards away, very bright, decent height just over the bushes, low beam, go to high beam. Looks pretty promising. We'll be taking this out in the sticks later on in the video. I'm taking some tight mountain corners too, so don't go away. Now let's do some long distance stuff. Got the low beams on. This truck gets out of the way. There we go. Low beam. Ooh, really reaches out there. Looks like these might be pretty good for long distance. If you watch my videos, you know I don't like auto dimming mirrors because I don't like driving with blacked out mirrors in city traffic. I don't think it's safe. Here we have a very simple design, mechanical on off. The way it should be on all vehicles as far as I'm concerned. Very simple, very effective. I like it. Okay, the dark, dingy street test. Got the low beams on, which is up pretty good. High beams, excellent. Won't be running over any dogs and cats. Looks good thus far. So we're gonna get on the freeway, light up some road signs. Here a few coming up, high beam. Low beam, low beam, high beam, really reaching out, impressive, yep, low beam, high beam, there are some goodies to light up, alright we're out in the boonies, let's see what these headlights can do, low beam, Reaching out. This is what I call the Big Dipper. Because there's a dip in the road and we have the low beams on. Reaches out okay, but we can't see what's on top. Now we can see what's on top. Actually, either way, these headlights are doing better than other vehicles I brought down here. Some of them on low beam, you can't see anything. Pretty impressive either way. And that's good because there's a lot of wildlife that comes out here at night. Don't see too many mountain lions, but an awful lot of skunks. And I definitely don't want to hit a skunk. Honda might get upset when they see what the car smells like when they get it back. And there's gobs and gobs of mice out on the road tonight, but 
that means there's going to be a lot of rattlesnakes out too. I try not to run them over, but sometimes I just can't help it. Maybe with these bright lights I'll be able to avoid them. And by the way, the handling of this car is fantastic, so you might want to watch my full week road test video if you haven't already. This is what this vehicle is made for. Tight corners and going in a hurry. Alright, here's the final test. Can we see the town jail? The jail sign. Uh, just barely. Not with the low beam. I guess we're riding a little bit too low. I think the sand has been sinking since the last flood. You can't see the jail sign up there very well. Just barely. Oh well, at least you know what the jail looks like. That was a nice little night drive, but time to get back into town. There's too many critters roaming out here tonight. Mice, owls, skunks. Haven't seen the rattlesnakes yet, but you know what's going to happen. They'll come out just as I get ready to get in my car, so... Time to go back to town and wrap up this video. This includes a headlight test. If you want to see the full road test, here's a link coming up. Click and watch.